The Open Up About Medicines campaign is to make sure that patients get the most from their medication and that they don't take home the things that they don't need. But the campaign was originally developed um, by Wessex and Oxford Academic Health Science Networks and they work together to bring partners like the NHS, industry and academia together so that we all benefit in our region. It's being backed by the clinical commissioning groups to make this happen. As it was originally rolled out in Southampton CCG, we really wanted to take it forwards within our region and our region covers um, Buckinghamshire, Bedfordshire, Berkshire, Milton Keynes and also Oxfordshire. Well our ultimate goal is to get patients to talk to healthcare professionals a little bit more about what they're taking, perhaps what they're not, um, and therefore we can reduce waste and put that money directly back into frontline healthcare services. It's estimated that nationally it's about £300 million pounds worth and £150 million of that is directly avoidable but that's what we know about so we think the situation could be much, much worse. Open up your bag, have a look at what you've got. If you don't want it, you can give it back to your community pharmacy. You don't have to have it every time. As soon as it leaves pharmacy, we can't reuse it again. So you have to say there and then whether you want something or not. We're looking at data regionally and we can see whether it's been making a big saving or not. It is about repeat prescribing um, and people just getting the same things every time. Um, but it's also much more complicated than that. It's whether people actually take it, whether they store it at home. And it's about those sort of behaviours that, that everybody has. It's quite normal. And it's us um, working out what it is that's contributing to all the waste so that we can reduce it. In my experience of talking about medicines has been a mixed bag. Um, generally good for my GP, who's always been very open. Um, and I felt like I've always been able to be honest with him. Uh, he gives me medication and explains just even just a little bit about it before just prescribing it and um, understands that I might, I generally don't like taking it and I have reservations full stop, but he understands that and sort of knows how to get me to be on side. Um, less helpful experiences of taking medication have been when it's just been thrown at me um, with no explanation whatsoever, when I've been told I have to take it, otherwise that's it, um, or just generally not being told how to take it properly what to expect, when to flag it up with my GP if my side effects are too much. What patients can do is be honest with your GP, be honest about your reservations, be honest about the side effects, and understand that it might not always be possible to see the same healthcare professional, but ultimately this treatment is about you. So yeah, honesty pays. Patients can help reduce waste in, med in medicines by opening up their bags when they receive their uh, prescription from the pharmacist and checking that any medication that they know they're not gonna use. So if you're not comfortable telling your doctor who thinks you're taking them, um, talk to your pharmacist. Your pharmacist might suggest that you have a medicines use review uh, and they'll take you into the private consultation area where you can have that conversation. They'll help you to explore why you're not taking things. They'll also help to look at side effects and things like that that would help you to maybe get the best out of your medicines. Just because something's on your repeat doesn't mean you have to have it every month. So if you don't need it, don't order it. So it's up to patients to tell healthcare professionals what they think and open up their bag and say, no, I don't take that anymore. And I'll get it the month after. It saves the patient money, saves waste, and it means that we can reuse the medication if it's kept in pharmacy in the first place.